Hi, I'm the Miserable Gamer, and welcome to Echo. Now, when I first came into this, bear in mind, this is probably about the sixth time I've gone through this. I've done this, this intro so many times now because I'm just having technical problem after technical problem this morning. So, hopefully, this is the one. This is the one to record. Uh, yeah, I wonder what the hell this was. And then you click, and you can control the eyeball. It is so very cool. It's like uh, those contact lenses they just created with the screen inside them. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, so uh, this is basically about a girl who wakes up after a hundred years in hypersleep or stasis, whatever you want to call it, whatever, whatever terminology they're using for this game. Anyway, let's go for a new game. The flesh and the soul shall enter the palace through the separate doors. Only the strong of mind and body will again reunite as whole. All our songs were about it. A magical place of life without end. A palace of untold wonders. But only for the worthy. So our lives were desperately dedicated to qualify. Pinpoint perspective on the great reward. Only... I never wanted to go. Those words alone could mean death. So when I ran, I knew it meant never stopping to catch my breath. If I wanted to live. And so it was. Yet here I am. The place I spent my whole life escaping I feel like shit of course you do your wound has healed the pain is from the stasis and will pass within a week the nausea will linger probably intensify when you start to realize that more than a hundred years have passed Everything you knew is gone. This is not another one of your running away from home excursions. Your grandfather won't send someone to pick you up this time. That's all gone now. So you decided not to like me. <laughs> but you've had a century to plan what to say, and that's it? How about you screwed up the best deal we ever had, or... You come waltzing in here, giving orders. Or, or even, Foster died because of you, you stupid bitch. Well, I don't like me much either. But I can fix this. I can bring him back. I don't know how you hope to achieve that, little miss, but I suggest you start your efforts by laying back down. Loss of motor skills is common even for experienced long haulers, which I suspect you are not. I suppose you had a long time to mull things over. Nothing I can say will change your mind. Now, if you excuse me if I don't say much, because I have already been through this twice before. Yeah, this is like a long drawn out intro bit. So where is he? He? Oh, you mean the cube? Yes, I had a very good look at that while you were asleep. I think you're in for a disappointment. Nothing suggests any sentience. No interface to access the thing, nor any reason to do so. There's nothing in there. It's just a pretty cube. So Blake, I think, is his, his, we knew his soul is inside this cube. We wouldn't have had to come here. This is how I see it. You don't answer to my orders, and yet you took us this far. So clearly, I'm not the only one hoping that I can achieve something. I can work with that. Not hope. Respect. For Foster. Foster, not Blake. God knows why, but he wanted me here. The stupid lighter proves it. I suspect staying wasn't even an option, considering how you stumbled on board covered in blood, demanding departure a week ahead of schedule. 
Yeah. Respect, Ben. That'll work too. Yeah, so you basically follow these lights. Then we have this long corridor walk with these titles. It's very Blade Runner-y, that music. Oh, I love Blade Runner. I'm going to have to watch that again now. So this is a cube that I believe is holding Foster's soul. I need a suit. see this whole planet eluded detection until about a week ago no visual cues no gravitational pull nothing even with the exact coordinates i nearly missed it we're looking for a palace why am i not surprised give it a rest will you can you see any structures on the planet you're looking at it it's all one big structure planet wide no palace though I'm guessing it's some corporate state's illegitimate mining project from the pre-requisition rush. That would explain the heavy clouding measures. The planet is most likely depleted of all resources. An empty shell. I hope the old man didn't pay too much for the coordinates. You have no idea. Just get me down there. I'll go see for myself. So it's like it's like those blocks should sort of slide together, you know? And perhaps the planet is expanding and those blocks are being pushed apart or something like that. You should get off the surface too. What a strange place. It's impressive. Really? I'm enabling the suit's assist mode to compensate for your inexperience. There's something here. It must be some sort of release mechanism. Did you hear that? It's definitely doing something. There's an opening down there. It's too far to jump, though. The suit will soften your landing if charged sufficiently. And if not? It will stop you from leaping.
The suit reads your intentions from your synaptic activity and receives commands from your voice or eye movements. A bit archaic, but Foster trusted that suit with his life. Cutting edge doesn't go well with space travel. The journey here alone made the suit an antique. It's not the suit's performance that worries me. Right, so the suit energy cell meter. The suit stores energy in cells. The cell meter visualizes the total capacity and current charge. Massive triangles are charged and hollow triangles are empty. Cell cost. The cell cost of any prompted action will be highlighted yellow. If you do not have enough charge for the action, the empty cells needed will blink yellow. An auto charging cell. The suit's, the suit's core cell auto recharges, harnessing ambient energy. This means that you will have. If you wait, you will always have one cell at your disposal. It's falling apart. It all looks strangely warped. I wonder how long it's been here. A composite like that should last forever, but it all looks ready to crumble. It all looks very alien-esque. Ah, uh, the usual tutorial. For humans, it's not just a machine mine. Most digs have a basic infrastructure if human presence should be needed. Probably also rudimentary living quarters. Doesn't mean anyone was ever here, though. Grams believe the place to be untouched by humans. A palace built by long lost technology, patiently awaiting its first human inhabitants. And you figure this is no more than a bootleg mine. Her neck is. Shifted. I appreciate the contrast. I generally lean towards plausible explanations. Your grandfather, well, everything he believed in, he made up himself. I don't know about that. He had the coordinates right. Look around you. This obviously isn't a palace. Your man might have gotten some aesthetic details wrong, but he wasn't the kind of person who'd risk everything without some kind of proof. And he can't really run Marsh's talk. My hopes up. How do I turn down the volume on the commentary track? You are overconfident. Immature people often are. You should be taking notes every time I open my mouth. Structures, then. Have you seen others like them since you're such an expert? I've had my fair share of halls based on wild speculation. It doesn't matter if it comes from desperate need or delusions of grandeur. There's never anything there but bitter disappointment. Was this with Foster? Before Foster. I got the feeling you two have been together for ages. I've been crisscrossing the spur for a thousand years. Foster was with me for a century and a half. Can't go left, so it's going to be right. What the hell was that? Boom, fucking. Can I get a new set of trousers, please? Oh, 
pants, as you Americans call it. If you've only been with Foster for a century and a half, you hardly knew him at all. I mean, we've been travelling together for a century, and we only just met. A hundred-year haul is quite the extreme. Foster's longest was 16. I knew him plenty. He trusted you, and said that I could too. That you would help me. Foster didn't leave me much choice. You don't mess up a job for your grandfather, and then team up with the person you were sent out to get in the first place. You could have just handed me back. You really are naive. I think you're doing this because you believe there's a chance to get your friend back. You're so caught up in your homemade religion that you're oblivious to common sense. I warned Foster about you resourcefuls. Best not to deal with your kind. Why did he then? Get involved, I mean. Foster disagreed. And gold makes for a powerful argument. So I'm assuming the guy we're talking to is the ship AI, because... Or just an AI. Because he was around, he was awake for the entire time she was asleep. Be away inside down there. That looks like some kind of landing bay. It looks like nothing of the sort. You know, you're nothing like I expected from a friend of Foster's. Such an odd team. An old rescue vessel from the Requisition and a man without a past. None of our marks knew what hit them. And then we were gone. The stuff we pulled off. You wouldn't believe it. I believe it. I was one of your jobs. A thieving rich kid with a gambling problem hardly qualifies. I got the brief. Not much of an extraction, really. No one giving a shit about you where you dug down. Only challenge Foster could see was that your grandfather wanted you to willingly hand back whatever it was you stole from him. You're wrong about everything. Even Foster. I seriously doubt that I am. He was good, Foster. Always had his eye on the ball. You may think you knew him, that he felt sorry for you, but he would never let that happen. I don't know what went wrong that night, why Foster died, but I'm sure you don't understand much of it either. Sorry, I didn't mean to threaten your romance. Cute. Finally, something. It's stuck. I need some force. Does the gun pack any punch? Uh, right mouse button to aim, left mouse button to shoot. It costs one cell. Wow! I like it. I'm taking the gun offline to preserve energy. Uh, is this some sort of airlock? I'm just making sure I am still recording because that looks like a palace. I'll be done. Are you getting all this? I'm with you. So we just happened to land. Right. It all looks completely untouched. Yes, yeah, so we just happened to land on the entire point on the entire planet where this palace is located. Or are these palaces are these palaces the planet? Are these located all over the place? Are these lifts or something? Can't see any controls. Guess we go this way. Take you were right about the palace. What's the plan now? We get Foster back, and then we leave. I was hoping for something more specific. I suppose we're looking for some sort of apparatus like the one Gramps had. Would that be the soul sucker? I'll know it when I see it. Even if you did find the thing, this place is dead. 
What mythic technology might be here is now useless. We just need to power her up. Tell her that we're here. I can feel this is going to work out just fine. We could do with some power. Shouting. Press R. Hello? Anyone home? I'm moving down. There must be some sort of power below the halls. That looks like a mirror. When in doubt, go left. I recognize these. They look like the stone faces at the gates between the garden terraces. Maybe it's a door of some sort. We called them gatekeepers. They were supposed to make us ponder if we were worthy to pass. You're not getting through without power, and this place is dead. Look at that. It's a voice. It looks like a tuning fork. Yes, obviously. The resourcefuls call them voices. Strike them and let the true tone interfere to find clarity and enlightenment. Ah, of course. What does that mean? The suit detects a pattern to the sound, and the decryption is kicking in. This is huge. Hello? Anyone home? I bet that's an activation mechanism for the door. Yeah, but it's no good without power. We need power. Power. This is meaningless. Foster is dead. Some things just cannot be undone. Think about it. If you could capture the souls of the dead in a cube, and then bring the person back to life, surely it would be a huge industry. It's not like that. I know for a fact that he's in there. I have wondered how you came to believe that. But I doubt that I'll agree with your reasoning. Your resourcefuls are too far removed from reality to make sense. You've seen nothing but the bought and paid for fairy tale designed by your grandfather. Well, the reality of my fairy tale upbringing was that it was all about this place. No, even before that, my genes. Graham spent centuries creating his resourcefuls, carefully picking potential from the gene pool. We were created to come here. And this feels very real to me. Now, these I know. We had rings exactly like them in the gardens. The suit detects a small gravity charge inside the scepter. Perhaps it can power the big door. 
The pedestal looks like the activation mechanism. Just out of curiosity, what's the higher meaning of keeping scepters displayed inside huge rings made of gold? It does seem a bit much, even if you are filthy rich. The rings were not for show. They are part of our training. Oh, and you do what exactly? Step inside and feel wealthy? Mm, not quite. The rings spin up, and the challenge is to get out in one piece. At first, staying in there is the only sane thing to do. But as the hunger comes, the rhythm of the spinning starts to sink in. At some point, Weird you realize game. that starving eats away at your chance of making it out. Then the leap. No, it's wait too long. Right. You almost had me going there for a while. By the way, I don't know if you noticed that there so were no annoying. other exits from this pit than the big door. How I hope the scepter will magically make it open. It will work. Must be nice always feeling that the world will act in your favor. It doesn't, though. My guess is that you will learn this momentarily. It is annoying the way she has to keep walking whenever they talk. No. Let's see. Nothing. What a shock. Looks like you might be joining Foster after all, just not the way you imagined. I don't get it. What Gramps did to hundreds of resourcefuls for this? I saw it the day I came to you. The subject lies down on a marble surface with a strange silver pattern and the silver unfolds pierces the skin and slithers inside nice in about half an hour it consumes everything all that remains is an empty slab of marble and a newly formed cube no. he called it the translation the flesh and the soul shall enter the palace through separate doors we said it a thousand times, never realizing. I didn't catch Foster's soul in a magical cube. He was dying, and I translated him. You killed him? The fact that your grandfather did unspeakable things doesn't prove he was right? That Foster can come back? That's insane! It was the only chance we had, and believe me, I'm good at chances. I gamble for a living, remember? That's how I've stayed alive all these years after leaving the gardens. Well, this time it didn't pan out. Look at you now. You think I'm giving up? Hmm. Right. Are you gonna say anything and interrupt me while I speak? Do you no. see that? <laughs> no it! The dim glow. The activation of the door must have triggered a chemiluminescent. Not uncommon for evacuation purposes. Right, I'm going to leave it there, so thanks very much for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed that. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you have enjoyed that, enable the notifications with the little bell icon to make sure you get informed of new videos that I put out. And you can follow me on Twitter, I'm at miserable, miserable underscore gamer, and Facebook is forward slash miserable gamer, all one word. And leave me a comment below, and let me know what you think of the game so far, and let me know how you think I'm doing. It's great to hear from you guys, keeps me going, keeps me motivated. So once again, thanks again, <laughs> so once again, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. There's something here. It must be.
must be some sort of release mechanism. Did you hear that? It's definitely doing something. There's an opening down there. It's too far to jump, though. The suit will soften your landing if charged sufficiently. And if not? It will stop you from leaping. <laughs> the suit reads your intentions from your synaptic activity and receives commands from your voice or eye movements. A bit archaic, but Foster trusted that suit with his life. Cutting edge doesn't go well with space travel. The journey here alone with the suit in antique. It's not the suit's performance that worries me. Right, so the suit energy cell meter. The suit stores energy in cells. The cell meter visualizes the total capacity and current charge. Massive triangles are charged and hollow triangles are empty. Cell cost. The cell cost of any prompted action will be highlighted yellow. If you do not have enough charge for the action, the empty cells needed will blink yellow. An auto-charging cell, the suit's, the suit's core cell auto-recharges, harnessing ambient energy. This means that you will ha if you wait, you will always have one cell at your disposal. should last forever but it all looks ready to crumble it all looks very alien-esque uh, the usual tutorial this place was made for humans it's not just a machine mine most digs have a basic infrastructure if human presence should be needed. Probably also rudimentary living quarters. Doesn't mean anyone was ever here, though. Gramps believe the place to be untouched by humans. A palace built by long-lost technology, patiently awaiting its first human inhabitants. And you figure this is no more than a bootleg mummy. Her neck is shifted. I appreciate the contrast. Wondered how you came to believe that. But I doubt that I'll agree with your reasoning. Your resourcefuls are too far removed from reality to make sense. You've seen nothing but the bought and paid for fairy tale designed by your grandfather. Well, the reality of my fairy tale upbringing was that it was all about this place. No, even before that, my genes. Grant spent centuries creating his resourcefuls, carefully picking potential from the gene pool. We were created to come here. And this feels very real to me. Now, these I know. We had rings exactly like them in the gardens. The suit detects a small gravity charge inside the scepter. Perhaps it can power the big door. The pedestal looks like the activation mechanism. Just out of curiosity, what's the higher meaning of keeping scepters displayed inside huge rings made of gold? It does seem a bit much, even if you are filthy rich. The rings were not for show. They are part of our training. Oh, and you do what exactly? Step inside and feel wealthy? Mm, not quite. The rings spin up and the challenge is to get out in one piece. At first, staying in there is the only sane thing to do. But as the hunger comes, the rhythm of the spinning starts to sink in. At some point, Weird you realize game. that starving eats away at your chance of making it out. 
then the leap. No, it's way too long. Right. You almost had me going there for a while. By the way, I don't know if you noticed that there so were no annoying. other exits from this pit than the big door. How I hope the scepter will magically make it open. It will work. Must be nice always feeling that the world will act in your favor. It doesn't, though. My guess is that you will learn this momentarily. It is annoying the way she has to keep walking whenever they talk. No. Wondered how you came to believe that. But I doubt that I'll agree with your reasoning. Your resourcefuls are too far removed from reality to make sense. You've seen nothing but the bought and paid for fairy tale designed by your grandfather. Well, the reality of my fairy tale upbringing was that it was all about this place. No, even before that, my genes. Graham spent centuries creating his resourcefuls, carefully picking potential from the gene pool. We were created to come here, and this feels very real to me. Now, these I know. We had rings exactly like them in the gardens. The suit detects a small gravity charge inside the scepter. Perhaps it can power the big door. The pedestal looks like the activation mechanism. Just out of curiosity, what's the higher meaning of keeping scepters displayed inside huge rings made of gold? It does seem a bit much. Even if you are filthy rich. The rings were not for show. They are part of our training. Oh, and you do what exactly? Step inside and feel wealthy? Mm, not quite. The rings spin up and the challenge is to get out in one piece. At first, staying in there is the only sane thing to do. But as the hunger comes, the rhythm of the spinning starts to sink in. At some point, Weird you realize game. that starving Eats away at your chance of making it out. Then the leap. No, it's way too long. Right. You almost had me going there for a while. By the way, I don't know if you noticed that there were so no annoying. other exits from this pit than the big door. How I hope the scepter will magically make it open. It will work. Must be nice always feeling that the world will act in your favor. It doesn't, though. My guess is that you will learn this momentarily. It is annoying the way she has to keep walking whenever they talk. Now. Must. None of our marks knew what hit them, and then we were gone. The stuff we pulled off, you wouldn't believe it. I believe it. I was one of your jobs. A thieving rich kid with a gambling problem hardly qualifies. I got the brief. Not much of an extraction, really. No one giving a shit about you where you dug down. Only challenge Foster could see was that your grandfather wanted you to willingly hand back whatever it was you stole from him. You're wrong about everything. Even Foster. I seriously doubt that I am. He was good, Foster. Always had his eye on the ball. You may think you knew him, that he felt sorry for you. But he would never let that happen. I don't know what went wrong that night. Why Foster died. But I'm sure you don't understand much of it either. Sorry, I didn't mean to threaten your romance. Cute. Finally, something. <clears throat> A 
He's stuck. I need some force. Does the gun pack any punch? Uh, right mouse button to aim, left mouse button to shoot. It costs one cell. Wow, I like it. I'm taking the gun offline to preserve energy. Uh, is this some sort of airlock? I'm just making sure I am still recording because that looks like a palace. I'll be done. Are you getting all this? I'm with you. So we just happen to like right. it all looks completely untouched. Yes, yeah, so we just happen to land on the entire point on the entire planet where this palace is located. Or are these palaces Are these palaces the planet? Are these located all over the place? Are these lifts or something? Can't see any controls. Guess we go this way. Take you were right about the palace. What's the plan now? We get Froster back, and then we leave. I was hoping for something more specific. I suppose we, at some point we realize game. that starving eats away at your chance of making it out. Then we leave. No, it's wait too long. Right. You almost had me going there for a while. By the way, I don't know if you noticed that there were so no annoying. other exits from this pit than the big door. How I hope the scepter will magically make it open. It will work. Must be nice always feeling that the world will act in your favor. It doesn't, though. My guess is that you will learn this momentarily. It is annoying the way she has to keep walking whenever they talk. No. Let's see. Nothing. What a shock. Looks like you might be joining Foster after all, just not the way you imagined. I don't get it. What Grams did to hundreds of resourcefuls for this? I saw it the day I came to you. The subject lies down on a marble surface with a strange silver pattern and the silver unfolds pierces the skin and slithers inside nice in about half an hour it consumes everything and all that remains is an empty slab of marble and a newly formed cube no. he called it the translation the flesh and the soul shall enter the palace through separate doors we said it a thousand times, never realizing. I didn't catch Foster's soul in a magical cube. He was dying, and I translated him. You killed him? The fact that your grandfather did unspeakable things doesn't prove he was right? That Foster can come back? That's insane! It was the only chance we had, and believe me, I'm good at chances. I gamble for a living, remember? That's how I stayed alive all these years after leaving the gardens. Well, this time it didn't pan out. Look at you now. You think I'm giving up? Hmm. There's something here. It must be some sort of release mechanism. Did you hear that? 
It's definitely doing something. Look, there's an opening down there. It's too far to jump, though. The suit will soften your landing if charged sufficiently. And if not? It will stop you from leaping. The suit reads your intentions from your synaptic activity and receives commands from your voice or eye movements. A bit archaic, but Foster trusted that suit with his life. Cutting edge doesn't go well with space travel. The journey here alone made the suit an antique. It's not the suit's performance that worries me. Right, so the suit energy cell meter. The suit stores energy in cells. The cell meter visualizes the total capacity and current charge. Massive triangles are charged and hollow triangles are empty. Cell cost. The cell cost of any prompted action will be highlighted yellow. If you do not have enough charge for the action, the empty cells needed will blink yellow. An auto-charging cell, the suit's, the suit's core cell auto-recharges, harnessing ambient energy. This means that you will ha if you wait, you will always have one cell at your disposal. should last forever but it all looks ready to crumble it all looks very alien-esque uh, the usual tutorial this place was made for humans it's not just a machine mine most digs have a basic infrastructure if human presence should be needed. Probably also rudimentary living quarters. Doesn't mean anyone was ever here, though. Grams believe the place to be untouched by humans. A palace built by long-lost technology, patiently awaiting its first human inhabitants. And you figure this is no more than a bootleg mummy. Her neck is shifted much for the action. The empty cells needed will blink yellow. An auto-charging cell, the suit's, the suit's core cell auto-recharges, harnessing ambient energy. This means that you will ha if you wait, you will always have one cell at your disposal. should last forever but it all looks ready to crumble it all looks very alien-esque uh, the usual tutorial this place was made for humans it's not just a machine mine most digs have a basic infrastructure if human presence should be needed. Probably also rudimentary living quarters. Doesn't mean anyone was ever here, though. Grams believe the place to be untouched by humans. A palace built by long-lost technology, patiently awaiting its first human inhabitants. And you figure this is no more than a bootleg mummy. Her neck is... is shifted. I appreciate the contrast. I generally lean towards plausible explanations. Your grandfather, well, everything he believed in, he made up himself. I don't know about that. He had the coordinates right. Look around you. This obviously isn't a palace. Your man might have gotten some aesthetic details wrong, but he wasn't the kind of person who'd risk everything without some kind of proof. And he can't really run Marsh's talk. My hopes up. How do I turn down the volume on the commentary track? You are overconfident. Immature people often are. 
You should be taking notes every time I open my mouth. structures 